Hey, hi! Because uh, the biggest topic uh, about AI for education is about personalized learning. Whether it's pre-COVID, during COVID or post-COVID, right? The, the, the role of educators is remain to be very, very important. So we focus on assessment and we help educators to make assessment easy and efficient so learning can be transparent and simplified. I would like to start from basic and uh, before we talk about AI, let's talk about data, all right? Um, many things that AI can do actually start from uh, how learning data is being captured in the platform so that we have a better understanding of the student's learning progress, right? Let me give you an example how we design our AI platform such that uh, we are able to make sure we collect enough data, learning data of the students to have better analysis of the student learning progress and eventually to have a better personalized learning experience to help students learn better. Um, it all started from the concept of assessment. As we all know that uh, there are three components for education. We always talk about instruction, pedagogy, and assessment. We believe that anything related to learning, um, there must be learning outcome to be measured. And of course, uh, the conventional way of measuring it's very tedious and traditional. Right? With uh, the advancement of uh, data and AI technology and uh, such a uh, platform make it possible to have all the data to be organized in the, in the database for better use, right? So from an assessment perspective, uh, we are trying to um, utilize it in all the journeys of our educators in the teaching and learning experience. Um, let me just break down into a different, different uh, section. Um, the use case is that um, usually before the stu student go to a class, um, we can actually do a pre-lesson diagnostic to understand the student's states of understanding of a certain topic. That's uh, the first step. And in class, we talk about in-class activities. And uh, assessment should not be coming in as a summative kind of assessment. It can be a formative assessment that uh, we're able to understand during the lessons and uh, for certain knowledge delivered to the students. Does the student understand certain concept that is delivered to them? And a simple quiz uh, can, be, can, be, can be conducted in the class to gamify the experience a little bit to encourage the student to participate and we take it as a form of collecting the data, learning data of the student, right? And after the class, we talk about, it's very common that, uh, you know, we have a homework for the students to yeah. practice and uh, for, for, for teachers to ensure that the students know how to apply their knowledge while they are attempting the questions on the, on, on the homework. And of course, uh, this, uh, this is still at a stage of uh, what we call a standardized homework. Yeah. All the students, for these students in the class, we have uh, standardized homework that they are, they are supposed to do. Yeah. Right? And then when we have step one, step two, step three, with all the data about the student capture in the platform, straight away we know that um, student A, you are probably not up to the um, pace. You're probably still left behind, yeah. whereas the other student is much faster. Yeah. So there's this concept that we call a uh, um, um, adaptive assessment. Um, after all the standardized activities are being done and after we are able to identify the profile of the students, that's where adaptive assessment can come in to help the student to practice based on their weakness or strength so that the student can actually uh, progress much faster. Right. And then there's this concept of uh, what we call assessment, um, assessment as learning. In the past, we talked about assessment of learning, but how about making assessment as a form of learning um, with an introduction of a uh, um, chatbot like Learning Buddy? Actually, the student can learn and uh, they can ask questions and get answer the questions, and they, they don't have to wait for the teachers to answer for them. Yeah. So that also bring up to the, um, the, 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 the topic that we are going to talk about later, what's the, what's the future and how, how educators role will change. So basically what I'm trying to t tell you here is that all these are the steps that we are able to uh, make good use of to understand the student better and eventually the whole experience can be personalized to the benefit of, of the students. Yes. We have seen a lot of uh, use case and application for AI. Uh, specifically, if we talk about in the education sector, we talk about content creation. When it comes to content creation with AI, it, it's, it's getting so easy to create learning content, assessment content, to any format that is 
helpful for the students or individualized or personalized to every student's individual personal personality. It can be personalized to that extent to help with the delivery of the knowledge to the student. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, uh, the biggest topic uh, about AI for education is about personalized learning. How we can have AI to understand students better, to identify the learning gaps of the students, to eventually help students learn better and more efficiently. In, in Singapore, for example, um, just in uh, last year in September, it was uh, announced by the Minister of Education, right? Two emphasis uh, um, is going to be the roadmap of Singapore for the next few years. First is on adopt, adoption of AI technology in the classroom. And secondly, is an emphasis on uh, 21 CC. Just how you mentioned about 5 Cs, right? So in Singapore, we have 21 CC, and 21 CC is not, it, it doesn't mean that there are 21 C, right? It means 21st um, century uh, competence. So we are moving away from just an uh, academic kind of uh, learning. We are, we are talking about how to make the students uh, learn uh, or develop more holistically so that uh, they will be future ready for the new future generation, the yeah. new, the, the ever-changing, fast-changing world yeah. in the future. I think it's very interesting because um, when we talk about um, AI solutions, right, we will think about student learning. But we believe that um, whether it's pre-COVID, during COVID or post-COVID, right, the, the, the role of educators is remain to be very, very important. That's what we believe in. So because of that, right, when it comes to helping students to learn better, we believe that we want to help educators to help the students to, to learn better. And because we understand that educators spend too much time on administrative tasks and a lot of things are being done manually, how about we make use of data, AI or technology to help educators to be um, more efficient, more effective in helping the student to learn. Yeah. So that's the core design of uh, AI system to help educators. Yeah. Several angles. Um, first of all, as I mentioned to you, content creation, it can be so easy, so simple right now. Secondly, when it comes to analytics, um, conventionally, if I, if I try to understand your learning profile, your learning progress, your learning gaps, all this relies on my memory. Yeah. So how reliable is my memory when I have 40 students or 10 different classes? So with data and AI, we're able to understand students better and eventually the learning experience can be more personalized. Yeah. That's the uh, angle that we come in. Yeah. I believe that uh, with the help of um, school like Inspire School, uh, first of all, you embrace uh, the technology. You have a very a strong um, visions on how what kind of uh, uh, education is best for the students, and with uh, a lot of handholding from the schools and teachers to guide students uh, the best use of technology or AI technology. Uh, it will surely be helping the student understand the position of AI to help them in the future. Um, I always men mention we specialize in assessment. So um, in order for us to ensure that uh, we are able to capture a lot of uh, useful data, we have to redesign how our platform is being designed. Yeah. And if you want to dissect, there are three components that we actually yeah. uh, um, have to redesign. Um, content, learning, and performance yeah. are components. Yeah. So it follows a question bank concept. Uh, question bank is not something new in, in Vietnam markets, but um, of course uh, what we are trying to do here is that how can we have all the content stored in the item, item banking system such that uh, we are able to identify what are the right content to be pushed to the students yeah. to help the student to learn better. Yeah. Right. Uh, when we talk about learning, 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 uh, learning component, right? Yeah. we talk about how we make it easy for teachers to put all the content together into a useful and meaningful um, assessment worksheets or quizzes for the students to attempt and eventually we can ev evaluate the student learning outcome yeah. and ultimately is the performance when we have all the data we have uh, for example we assign out 40 worksheets for the students um, conventionally you have uh, data in worksheet 1 stay in worksheet 1 data in worksheet 2 stay in worksheet 2 it doesn't really correlate yeah. but uh, what is in interesting here is that we have a proper design of the item banking system all the data can have a proper label and we are able to put together in one single uh, report to allow yeah. teachers to yeah. identify the student learning gaps. Yeah. So that's the whole philosophy of how we design yeah. Hey High platform to help teachers. Can you imagine a world where students can learn comfortably and effectively and tutors do not have to carry all the heavy duty alone? It's time for a new way to learn and to teach. Contact us to start today.